Привіт, привіт, my dear friends. My name is Ina and welcome to my YouTube channel Speak Ukrainian. Today is Saturday, such an amazing warm weather. I'm resting at the river bank and I would like to tell you about how I started to teach Ukrainian and why. I think it will be very interesting for you. But before we start, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my YouTube channel, like this video and leave your comments about it. If you want to ask some questions about me, please feel free to ask. So guys, I started to teach Ukrainian at the Forum 1 six years ago. Uh, it was in 2016 and that time I was finishing the uh, university I was a um, I think it's like postgraduate student and I was about to get my bachelor degree and I decided that I need to earn some money because I would I was a student and I was looking for some job I wanted to get some experience so I um, started English philology and uh, I found at that time part-time job as the English teacher. So my career started as an um, English teacher. I taught adults and kids in Ukraine English language. So I worked at the language school uh, and I had uh, several groups. So I taught people from elementary level and also I was a private teacher for kids. I came to the uh, kids' houses and I taught them English. So it was a very interesting experience and then it was uh, summer holidays, I got my degree and I decided to, uh, to come to my parents and spend uh, the summer with them at my native village that is located at the uh, seaside. Uh, so and I was looking for some online job so I was thinking to work online and then I met with my friend we talked with her and I said Christina you know I would like to continue teaching but I would like to spend time with my parents in the village what should I do she said you can teach online and I said hmm that's a great idea you know so I I decided okay I need to Google so I wrote uh, English teacher online and I found some uh, online platforms uh, and I started to teach at the website Preply uh, it was created by uh, Ukrainians by the way so and I started to create a pro teachers profile and there was a question what languages can you teach and I click okay I can teach English for Ukrainians and then there were Russian Ukrainian and I said okay I know Russian I know Ukrainian hmm I think I can teach them why not okay so I clicked <laughs> on these three languages uh, and uh, I was um, expecting to get um, some uh, um, I don't know, feedbacks from Ukrainians who want to learn English. But to my surprise, uh, I got a lot of uh, requests from foreigners to teach them, first of all, Russian language. And I remember my first lesson was on the 28th of April in 2016. One student from Turkey, uh, he um, booked a trial lesson with me and I wasn't ready for it at all. I was so nervous. Uh, I was so nervous uh, before that uh, lesson. I was just shaking literally. So I put a laptop, laptop on my uh, legs and I was thinking, oh my God, oh my God, what should I explain? What should I explain? I, th I think, okay, I will teach him how to say I, you, he, she, it, etc. So uh, the lesson was successful and then I started to teach Russian. Actually, yes, uh, to my surprise, I didn't want it, I didn't expect it, but I started to get a uh, request from foreigners to teach them uh, Russian language. And then in summer, I got my first student who wants to learn Ukrainian. 
and it was a girl uh, from Italy. Her name was Veronica, and uh, she wanted to uh, learn Ukrainian because she had a friend here in Ukraine. My second student was was Daniel from Norway, and he wanted to learn Ukrainian because uh, he had uh, a girlfriend from Ukraine there and they decided to be together, to marry, so I taught him. So I remember my students very well, all of them. Their stories, uh, their goals, how they struggled in learning the language. So I like it. I, I started to love my job and I really enjoy it. So to tell the truth, I had only one student who wants to learn English with me. So can you measure that? And uh, a lot of students were foreigners who wanted to learn uh, Russian and Ukrainian. Okay, uh, so... <laughs> okay, so... Um, uh, at one moment I decided that I don't want to teach Russian anymore, although I had a lot of students. I realized that uh, I'm bored just to be a teacher. I want to grow. I want to create my own learning materials because uh, when I started to teach uh, Russian and Ukrainian, there were a lot of learning materials for Russian language and there were just a few for Ukrainian language. And I saw that it is not fair. And I started to create my own exercises for my students, audio dialects. And uh, I decided to uh, develop more and more and therefore i decided to create an instagram page and to start from this and uh, i refused to teach russian i uh, said to all my students i'm sorry i'm not going to teach you anymore and since that time it was in at the beginning of 2018 i started to teach only ukrainian language because i really love it uh, the language is very beautiful it is my native language and of course it is easier to teach it uh, and I didn't have competitors in this kind of business so I thought why not so I created my Instagram page and I was so nervous to uh, start creating content for it as I am an introvert I was so shy to be on camera I didn't like my appearance how I look how I speak I had some doubts in my English language uh, skills but I had a student uh, he was a coach and uh, his name was Leo he uh, was from Ecuador and he was married to a Ukrainian girl they lived in Lutsk so he motivated me so much he supported me and said Ina you should do it you teach very well and I did it. I did it. It worked very well. So I was so happy to uh, to start uh, being uh, an Instagram teacher. And only uh, three years ago, in 2019, in summer, I started to teach uh, Ukrainian on YouTube. I uh, I worried a lot about it. I shied to start making videos on youtube i thought oh my god who would like to watch these videos uh, i want to be professional i want to look beautiful <laughs> so and i did it i dream about it and i did it and i'm super happy about it so as you know then i created my textbook faster ukrainian cases the flashcards now i have the school speak ukrainian my website is speakya.com please check it out um, also, I have my own uh, community, I have the teachers who work for me, so I'm super happy about my choice. I did the right choice uh, four years ago that I started to teach only Ukrainian for people and this is my mission. So you see, it happens by itself. I didn't plan to be a teacher of Ukrainian language, but it happens by itself. The universe uh, brought me students uh, who supported me, who gave me the confidence and it worked out. So I wanted to tell you thank you so much for supporting me, for supporting my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for my 
patrons who donate me money guys uh, with the help of you i can keep my work i um when i had to flee uh, when i had to flee from kherson i um, it was uh i mean i i left my apartment uh in february then i had to hide in another apartment in kherson and then i fled at the end of the march i fled from the kherson so i left there all my clothing uh, I left there all my tripod, lighting, every, everything that I used for equipment, so I didn't have opportunity to to get other my things and I still can't, but I hope I will very soon. So I had to buy here everything. I had to buy a laptop, I had to buy a tripod, I had to buy uh, new clothes because I left just with the winter warm clothes so i had to buy everything and uh of course it costed some money and you can see i bought this beautiful dress recently uh by the way in second hand uh and uh, because i have a lot of clothes at her son my beautiful clothes and uh, i don't want to spend a lot of money here and to buy again some new clothes so i just go shopping to the second hand so guys, and it looks very nice, I think. What do you think? And I got uh, my tattoo. It's not real, unfortunately. It's a temporary one, but I would like to have it. It's real, but my husband says, no, I don't like it, don't do it. And uh, he refused me to do that. Also, I have another three ones. I think it's very beautiful. Okay, so Ukrainian designers, uh, they made this temporary tattoos uh, on Instagram. I bought them and I like them. But uh, my husband said, don't do real tattoo with the Ukrainian um, like attributes because it can be dangerous for, lo for your life if something happens. Um, you don't have to have any... Uh, signs that you are like a true patriot of ukraine it sounds crazy in the but that's true and uh, on my personal social media i'm afraid to post some uh, patriotic uh, posts pictures uh, because uh, it can it can be dangerous for my relatives for my dad who are still in the occupied her son it's scary it's crazy but that's true so thank you so much for watching that was my story when how and why i started to teach ukrainian as the second one thank you so much thank you for watching your teacher ina bye bye